Students at Greene County Career Center are going back to class tomorrow after three days off. Crews have repaired a brand new $6 million heating system. Megan O'Rourke is live to tell us why it failed and that closed the school. Right now, crews are working around the clock to get the new geothermal heating system up and running. They say the state-of-the-art unit shut down over the weekend after some pipes froze. But tonight, officials are still standing behind the upgrade, saying it will pay off in the end. For the third day in a row, the workrooms here at the Greene County Career Center are empty. The high school's 620 students were told to stay home because these classrooms are cold. Over the summer, the school had a brand new $6 million geothermal heating system, new roof and extra insulation installed. State of the art, but still not working properly. Sometime on Saturday night, a mechanism within the units started triggering problems and started triggering, triggering the units to go off. And so with the temperature as it was, it started freezing the pipes and freezing the units. When working, the heating system draws water from geothermal wells installed underground behind the school. Using the Earth's natural heat, the water is kept at a consistent 55 degrees and moves through pipes to produce heat in the building. Officials say it's not only green, but a good way to save money, paying for itself in just five years. It'll take our utility costs down as well. It's a very efficient way to heat and air condition a building. Unfortunately, it's just not working right now. However, while we were shooting this story, parts of the system kicked back on. And officials say by the end of the day, heat in the school should be restored. Better late than never. It is frustrating in the short term because here we have three days that we don't have school. But in the long term, it's going to benefit this school district. It's going to save us money with utilities, which obviously saves the taxpayers money. Uh, and it's going to help, uh, help the school district be more efficient. Now again, school officials tell me they plan on holding class tomorrow, but any additional calamity days this winter will have to be made up at the end of the school year. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.